Today is the fourth day of the liberation fast. In 2014, a building of the Fats family was bombed by the Tsayanatis and 21, I think at the end 22, of his family members were massacred. I do believe it was five of his direct family and the others were of his wife's family but I'm not certain right now as he had many losses during the 2014 massacres. Among those people were his beloved brother Hamda and his best friend who was also his sister's husband. And at the night the day it happened and they were still under rubble. I spoke to him on Skype. We spent the night speaking. And I was trying to comfort him. And he ended up comforting me. And people who know Rifat knows that he had this, this calmness and power to do that magical ability to comfort all of us and I ask him how, how can you possibly comfort me when you are in the midst of, of so much sorrow and he said because I believe that they are in a better place now and they died, they died for a righteous cause Less than two years after that, his sixth daughter was born and he called her Aman, Hope. On the 3rd of December, three days after Dr. Refat was assassinated, um, he sent me a text about, about how Palestinians call their children as mother and father. They, they call their son my father or my mother to their daughter, which is something is not unique to the Palestinian people. I've met that in Africa, in Gambia and Senegal. The women call their boys my husband. And Rifat said, it is because our, our children are so dear to us that they are like our parents. There is nothing, nothing more sacred and dearer to our hearts than our children. And that is why the term of endearment is my father, my mother. He then sent the text uh, on a Twitter and I will I would link I would link below the tweet. I would like to dedicate this day to Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman is Rifat's first grandchild. He was born in January two thousand and twenty-four. A bit over two months after his grandfather was assassinated in cold blood. And Abdul Rahman himself was murdered by the same regime, by the same IGF, the Israeli genocidal forces. In April been three months old. So I would like to dedicate this day to, to all the children and especially to the children in the north of God that are facing famine 
and thirst and conditions unbearable while we are all watching.